What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on part three of how I take good care of my personal dive gear and today we're going to be looking at the buoyancy system and I'm going to show you just how simple it is to take care of your BCD. Now the first thing you want to do of course is get your water prepped. Of course I'm using my Pelican box as well. I've got my two ounce pow plow here. Simply put it in. This product is absolutely phenomenal. I've been using this since about 2000 and I absolutely love it. You can get it in several different types. You can get a 16 ounce, a 32 ounce bottle, or you can get the little travel bags here. But about two ounces go a long way with about five gallons of water. So I've got my Pelican box filled up. I've got my Pow Plow already installed in it. I'm just gonna take my BCD and I'm gonna lay it down in the water. I'm gonna make sure it stays completely submerged down in there and I'm gonna let that Pow Plow go to work. It's gonna break up all that bad bacteria. Now once it's set for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and stand it back up because now we're gonna work on both internally of the BC and we're gonna work on all the mechanics of the BC, such as the inflator and things like that. Now, a lot of people actually like the BCD washout hoses, which I'm going to show you how I do that today. I don't typically do this every time I use my BCD, but if I'm going to be hanging this one up, say, for a week or more, I'll actually use this system here. All it is is a low-pressure uh, inflator connector there and a water hose connector as well. So you're going to basically take your water hose, and you are going to screw it onto the end. And then we're going to simply clip it onto your inflator. Now I'm going to get the water turned on real quick and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to wash out the internal part of your BCD. All right, now that I've got the water turned on, all you've got to do is simply inflate your BCD. It's going to allow that water to travel all the way up through the inflator hose into the bladder itself, simply just by pushing the button here. You can probably hear it, the water's flowing through it, and it's actually filling up the BCD with plenty of water. Now you don't have to completely fill it up if you don't want to. I'll probably go about halfway and then I'm gonna stop and actually swish it around. And I'm gonna get that bladder really cleaned out the best I can. Now once it's completely full of water and you've shook it around a little bit, now you need to drain the water. There's several ways to do that. Of course, you can just open it up here and drain it out by holding it upside down or you can open up one of your exhaust ports, which is exactly what I'm gonna do here. The exhaust ports need to be checked every so often anyway, so, and I like to clean them out. All I'm gonna do is just kinda of turn it to the left here, being careful not to lose any O-rings or anything like that. And then of course I can hold the BCD up and drain the water out as simple as that. It's very, very simple. Plus I can inspect the exhaust port here just to make sure it doesn't need to be cleaned out. If it does, I simply take a toothbrush, clean out the threads really good, and then of course I'm going to reinstall it. Now you do want to be careful when you reinstall these because it's very easy to get them cross-threaded. And if you want to learn a little bit more about how to take good care of your gear, make sure you check out the SSI Equipment Techniques course because it's going to go in depth of how you clean each and every uh, system that you got, whether it's the buoyancy system, the air delivery system, and the whole nine yards. And it's going to help you prolong the life of your equipment as well. But that's going to be it for the buoyancy control system. Basically, the last thing I do is use a BCD hanger, hang it up in a cool, dry place, and let it dry. And then, of course, I can store it in a bag. Or in my case, I leave it hanging up in the dive locker. But, guys, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you got any questions on your specific BCD, drop me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. But, guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.